Memphis and Southern Mississippi are on the field. You're getting a look inside the stadium at the final moments before kickoff of the Black and Blue Bowl, which will probably also describe the way the bodies look at the end of the game. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium in Memphis, Tennessee, the place for this gridiron battle. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Welcome to another game of NCAA football. We're brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Today's game is between the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles and the Memphis Tigers. <laughs> championship with this incredible season drawing closer to the end. Now let's take you down to midfield for the coin toss presented by Spark who reminds you that what you can measure you can improve. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Weddle from the two. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Tigers came into the game ranked 11, and now they're waiting to see how far they'll fall. This one was tight. And for Harrison, he was throwing it all over the lot. Better than 350 yards. Arkansas wins it 28-24. Elsewhere, this is Big Ten football. Right up in your grill. Nobody backing down. There was some bad blood in this one today. The Fighting Illini get the W, 24-17. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's taken down at the 22. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Second down at 12. Ball on their own 22. for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back. Looks over the middle and it's picked off to the 20. Touchdown, Memphis! So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. on the extra point. The Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. 
This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He drops to throw on first down. Going long. Tackle made at the 35. Gain of 40 yards. That makes it first and 10. Side. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and eight. Back to pass. And he's level at the 41. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. It's on the ground. It's recovered. He has some room. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover block. They need to hold on to the football. is up by a touchdown. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From the 33-yard line, first down. to the 10 and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line they need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit they could easily fall out of the game They make the stop around the 31-yard line. That's Very well-designed play that time to give them a first, first down. down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He's at the 40. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and then to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Brought 
down at the 33 yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 33. And he's tackled in the open field. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He might change the play here before the snap. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. There he goes. The 10, the 5. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Huff from the one. Gets out to about the 21. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. Memphis up seven points. Feeds it to the back. And he's tackled at the 24 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and six. Ball on their own 24. Gives it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 32 yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From their own 32 yard line, it's first down. Lost the ball, football! And down he goes around the 30 yard line. The defender wanted a head start and they certainly got him for it. That's just a discipline thing there. It's five free yards, and that could hurt. First and five. Ball on the 37. What? And he's tackled after positive yardage. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. He's taken down at the 45. A two-yard run by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They run it left. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Vance gets six yards on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Memphis is up seven. Ray on the option. Tackle at the 40. A monster run there by the fullback. He can't wrap the big guy up. He can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. From the 40-yard line, first down.
lets it fly. And it's intercepted. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From their own 20-yard line, first down. to his receiver. It's picked up by the defense. They work on ripping the ball away all week in practice. He got a hand in there and just knocked it free. Quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He's now hauled in 60 passes this season. He adds to his season catch total. Now it's 60. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Memphis is up a score. It's the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. First and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. He may have changed things up here. Goes out to the running back, no good. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. And he tackles him hard at the one. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. They'll run and he takes it in. He's blocking the backs to a lot of dirty work during the game. So it's good to reward him. the extra point. A four-play, 16-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 21-7. Lester has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the 16. start this drive at the 16-yard line. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Made around the 23 yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it 33. And it's going to be hard even to hear the snap count. This place is hopping. Caught, and that's a first down. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. here and he jumped out of bounds right around the 26 yard line it's 
It's second and 13. Ball on the 26. That's a great tackle at the 21. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He drops back. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. Inside the 30. To the 10. And they make the stop at the 3. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple of scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 10. Oh, man, did he take a hit. They'll get the ball here at the 21-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Jones makes this He's out to the 30. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. Second and 13, ball on the 30-yard line. Jones drops back to pass. Now he tries to buy some time, and he can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this third and very long. fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the second grade they're stacking the line it looks like they're coming after this punt and this one is a beauty makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line he did a good job there to give his team decent field position. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. 
and they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Throws incomplete, knocked away. Hook was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. And the safety with the interception at the 30. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He got all of that one. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 27. The offense will start at the 27-yard line. Great concentration. I'm sure the coaches are going to tell him to calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes into the defense like that without making a mistake. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Quick toss. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 39. He's tackled at about the 45. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. down right around the 44 yard line Davidson gets back to the line of scrimmage he gets about a yard there on the option it's second and nine ball on the 44 Lawrence gets the carry and he's tackled at about the 35 the offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Ten. 
possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He's taken down at the 24. Game of 10 yards. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. goes around the 15-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Fullback, handoff. Tackle at the 12-yard line. The offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 12. Again, he'll get the call. Knocked out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Lawrence comes away with five yards on the carry. Here's play number 14 of this drive. They go to the ground game. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. The defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. They'll make the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He's changing things up. Enzo picked off. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. Carter comes in from their own 16 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 16. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 16 yard line. the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 39 yard line. Call it a gain of 23 yards. First down.
what a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Carter, back to pass. Quick strike, and he drops it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. There was some movement on the line. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. The penalty makes it second and 15. Let's go. 348. 348. Hey. Tackled after a decent pickup. Jordan comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Back to pass. Out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up, looks long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 28-17, Memphis. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Oh, what a hit. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Herbie. Well, I was looking forward to this matchup the entire game. How would this quarterback fare against this secondary, one of the top secondaries in the country? And right now, the defense is doing a good job of confusing the quarterbacks and creating these turnovers. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. the stop around the 38 yard line they pick up good yardage that time on the pass play here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job nice run and he's brought down a nice first down run there yeah first down and i'll tell you what the defense was sold on the pass there From their own 42-yard line, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 41. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Quick pass. Touchdown! Make it three passes for touchdowns. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. Less 
Foster as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's immediately tackled. Southern Miss just took their first time out. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play short yardage situation here it's third and one Carter the ball carrier that's a great tackle at the 32 and that run will move the chain oh boy that was a tough one to give up for that defense First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here we go. Cut. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and 10. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Cut. Looks to pass. And they get the sack. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. So another third down here. And this time it's third and long. They try to get a head start there. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. They go with the option. And they'll get him in the backfield. That's going to do it for the first half. And they're just trying to keep this thing close. The Tigers with an 18-point cushion. We are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field, and we're ready to go. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. And down he goes at the 17. Lots of turnovers in the first half as both teams had trouble holding onto the ball. We'll send it down to Aaron Andrews for more. Each defensive coordinator expressed concern over the big plays each team allowed. And for Southern Miss, their defensive coordinator hopes to see his players step it up after a very pedestrian first half. Brad? The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. That makes it second and eight. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 20. The running back gets two on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Brought down at the 31.
forward to the tailback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they'll run him again. Nice run up the middle. Lawrence picks up about four yards on the play. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Third down has been the charm on this drive. You know, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First and two. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. This is the eighth play of this drive. On the ground, inside. And he shoved out of bounds at the 46. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They're changing the play. Here's a quick throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and three. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Well, I'm not sure I really agree with this call to go for it, but that's why I'm not coaching, folks. And down he goes at about the 45. They'll get the ball here at the 45. Let's go. They'll bring him down at the 41. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Second and 13. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. Caught open field for the 20. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he adds the extra point. Jennings has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Gives it to the back. He's taken down right around the 34. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That'll bring up second and three. 
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Feeds it to the back. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. So that three-yard scamper by the halfback is good for the first down. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. They'll work the left. He's at the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Fires incomplete to the fullback. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Drops back to pass. Over the middle, got his tight end. A nice seven play, 77 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Lester looks ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. They'll go to work at the 26. They bring the quarterback down. Love an aggressive mentality from a defense. They brought the safety on the blitz, and he's able to get through there and get all the way to the quarterback for a big loss. So the sack makes this a second and long. They'll make the sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. Everybody on their feet. Back to pass. He airs it out. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. the 34-yard line. First down. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. down. They're inside the five. Defense and their short yardage package. And they make the stop at the one. From the one yard line. Second down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Ray, options out. <laughs> 
And he converts the extra point. A short two play, one yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. They'll set up shot at the 21. And he's level at the 25 yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Go across the middle, caught. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. That's a great tackle at the 30. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. After a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up third and 14. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. The Tigers with a huge lead. yards to go. Ball in the 34. Back to pass. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. They hand it off again. Gets to around the 42. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. They'll go ground. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gain of 13 on the play. First down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And he's immediately tackled. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Push him out at the 10 yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Here we go, right. Throws it. And that one's incomplete. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it. 
and third and nine. Here's third and nine. Ten yards to the end zone. Carter steps back to pass. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. An excellent pass to the wideout for six. That wide receiver had his eyes on the end zone the second he caught the ball. That was a nice-looking play. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes, so kudos to the quarterback. He makes the PAT. It was a 12 play, 79 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Southern Miss is lining up to kick this one off. He got all of that one. He's to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. This drive will start at the 23. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the field. That makes it second and six. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. No game. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 27. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. From their own four yard line, it's first down. Run left side. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they finally push him out at the 26. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Try to change the play. He drops back. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And for Williams, his receiving numbers keep getting more and more gaudy. Over the course of an entire year, you're going to take some shots when you catch as many passes as he does. But he's always been able to bounce back for more yards. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. He makes it to the six-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. They're at the six. Second down. And he might change the play here before the snap. Fires to the end zone, picked off. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. Second and nine. 
Here's the give. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up third and four. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. They'll bring him down around the 20 yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? Strike to his receiver. No good. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Now he tries to buy some time. Sheds that one. Tackle around the 49-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Memphis just took their first time out. Putting together a solid drive here. It's first and ten, and we're on play number nine. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. Reception. Jackson on the tackle at the 38-yard line. First down. Ready! Green 90! Cut! Cut! He's at the 20. Got him again. And he's taken down at the nine-yard line. That's a gain of 29 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And he's going to be sacked. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. It's second and goal. Ball on the 15-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. He drops back. Let's it fly. That close to being intercepted. Curve the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. Incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Go into the end zone. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Up the middle. And down he goes, around the 24-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Left 
side. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Brought down at the 34. Lawrence gains about a yard on the play. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. On play action under heavy pressure. Tackle made to 37-yard line. down and they make the stop around the 12 yard line kicks up and it splits the uprights Memphis gets set to kick this one away. From his own goal line. Tackle at the 25. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. They'll throw on first down. And he's hit immediately. Golden Eagles don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Adams takes the give. And he hits him hard at the 44. Southern Miss will take their second time out of the half. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 44. There's a strike complete. And he is drilled at the 49. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one. Memphis 52, Southern Miss 31. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Memphis came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. And for Williams, he'll walk out of here with the Player of the Game Award. For Memphis, they continue their run at a perfect season. And for the Golden Eagles, their season continues to be rocky as their record drops to 5-7. and seven. For EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.